Hello and welcome back with me, Admiral. Joining me on Star Trek Fleet Command today. So, some new <coughs> content, as you're aware, has uh, well, the new patch has just come out, patch 19. As you can see, I'm on it now. So, we're just going to have a little quick browse through this patch, and then I've got some really, really good information uh, for you, which. I'm really pleased that they've added this feature into the game, but we'll come on to that very, very shortly. So the new content of the out is going to be called The Outlaws. Uh, this is going to be taking place, it seems, after the Crucible of War event is finished uh, today, uh, which is, I believe in about four hours. Um, so the new Outlaw arc kicks off the new narrative featuring Harry Mudd, Khan, and more uh, than 35 new missions that reintroduce commanders to revamp augment space. So this is gonna to be to do with augment and them sort of independent style officers. Um, so we're gonna have new uh, new stuff in the stores. So we're gonna get new avatars, new missions, and there's gonna be uh, three new rare officers getting added to the game. One of them, I obviously, it's kind of, one of them's gonna to have to be Harry Mudd if you're gonna obviously to talk about him it's obviously going to be him oh no there we go three rare officers but then he's going to be an epic harry mudd's going to be an epic officer so there we go that's that's pretty it's pretty good uh so the new officers consist of uh harry mudd being the the outlaw uh group um epic officer there's a couple of his traits i'm not going to read go through for everything but that, that's who they are we're going to have navi as one of his rares Again, he's going to be part of the Augment group. Uh, and then we've got Pan, again, a part of the Augment group. Uh, we've got Rima, Rima, Rima. Go with Rima. Rima. Yeah, we'll go with Rima. Again, part of the Augment group. And then if we go to the Augment faction store content, new stuff is going to be added. Uh, officer bundles, uh, more plutonium stuff, new avatars getting added, uh, so on and so on. I'm not going to read all of this because... Uh, I, I'm, I don't want to insult anyone's intelligence, so you can just go on and read it yourself. Uh, I'll have a little browse through it, but... So there's going to be uh, new and premium Outlaw missions featuring Khan and Harry Mudd. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Khan, so it's kind of kind of crap. Hopefully, we can uh, build up to work, work towards getting him. Uh, the Battle Pass, which is we'll talk about. And then they've, they've got a few bug fixes throughout the game, which is good to see that they're actually fixing some bugs uh, there is still a lot of that they're working on um, like hostiles and stuff like that but it's good that they're actually trying to fix at least some of the bugs in the game um, so that is a good thing overall but the thing that I want to talk about mostly in this video which is what really this video is about is actually in the event store so you go to the event store uh, this is one of the biggest features or the biggest thing that people have been crying out for for so long it is more ways to get independent credits and they finally done it so if you go to scroll across, you've got nano charge probes. Uh, charge nano probes, you can now get independent credits for nano charge probes. Uh, $16.50 it costs, and you get 45 of them. So, doesn't seem like a lot uh, when you consider if you go to like uh, the, the Federation credits, for example, you get 120 for the same amount. Um, so, it doesn't seem like a huge amount. Um, however, it just gives everyone an, an additional way to get these independent credits, which is obviously stuff that people are, you know, really crying out for uh, and really, really want. So it's just another way to get them uh, and be able to get them. So that, that I th think that's a good thing. Um, I don't think they've added anything in this yet. No, because Crucible of War is on still. So they haven't added any anything in that. But I think that's a really good feature. Add them into the, the, the game. Um, Let's go to Augment, see if they've added anything yet to the Augment, actual the Augment store itself. So yeah, they've got the auction faction icon. Uh, you have to be friend to get this. Uh, also, you can, well, if you want a, a second Botany Bay, then if it's free, I'll claim it, sure. Um, so there you go, you can get a second one if you've already got one. Uh, and if you don't have one, I presume you may be able to get one. So that's a good thing uh, for obviously people of the lower levels. And look at this. Wow. Okay, here we go. So you can now start getting blueprints for the, the different hijacked vessels, which is really, really good. Um, you can get the avatar. So the augment recruits. So let's have a look, quick look at that. 
So yeah, that's your standard one that you used to be able to get. And then mm -hmm. you now have, oh God, my, everything's vibrating. Now you have the second one, which, uh, yeah, the second one. So this is the Awoken Augment. Okay, so these are the three additional offices that are getting added to the game. Um, so you've got, yeah, that's Navi, you've got Pan, and then you got Rima. So they obviously offer different, so he'd be a good one for Hull Breach, as you can see. Once it's in hull breach, plus 40% damage when the ship has got a hull breach. So putting him with Gorkon would be really good. Um, <clears throat> again, very good in terms of interceptor capabilities. Ship has a hull. Again, the, these seem to be all based around hull breach. Uh, so putting these with Gorkon um, and on an interceptor, obviously, that would be very beneficial. Uh, and then again, to get a friend, yeah, well, to get to the all win mission pack one, you need to be friend. So I need to sort of work on that a little bit. Um, but yeah, so I personally think this is some good features added to the game. Some really good features. Uh, obviously, you've got Khan Avatar as well. So I, I'm well away from Khan, so <laughs> we'll have to uh, work on this uh, in my own time. But I think this is a really good feature to the game. Uh, they've added new stuff to the game. Augment's starting to get flushed out now and start to become a more of a relevant sort of faction to go towards. Uh, the only issue with that I see with this happening is if you go to Augment Space, unless they change this as well. <coughs> okay, so there's new ways to get into Augment Space, and there's now way there's more. There's ways that are locked now as well. So I take it these are the yeah these are the missions that you've got to do to get to certain areas now, which is kind of bizarre because you can still get to these, but you can't pass through there. I guess I guess these are just quicker methods, I guess, of being able to get to augment space instead of having to use this one like sort of whatever whatever you want to call a hyperspace lane sort of thing. Um, you can now use multiple methods to get into augment space and especially getting to Yarda uh, for example which has obviously got the highest nodes but they're, like I was saying though, this is well, this is where I see it now becoming potentially an issue because if you go to Yarda for example um, Yarda only has unless they've added more and they have, oh that is an absolute excellent feature so they've added now decoded data mines and they've added an absolute butt ton of them um, so I am very very happy to see that we've got missions now in in there so this is a great add addition to the game we'll start going through some of these and we'll start working on some of this uh, well over the next coming month I would imagine this event's going to go on for if it's anything like the Borg stuff it'll probably go on for the next sort of month um, so I'm happy that they've added a lot more nodes into the game so let's um, see what they've actually done. So let's get the Botany Bay. Uh, we've got quite an uh, we've got quite an upgraded Botany Bay. So I'm not too fussed on that uh, group. So we want let's add you as the extra. And I don't know why it says new because I already had them for ages ago. So I'm not entirely sure why it says new. The only one we didn't was Carol. She is actually new. Uh, everyone else we've we've had so I'm not entirely sure what it's going on about uh, so let's add that into our body bay because that puts my cargo up to 39k which is exactly what I want so if you go to like this for example I can mine 117,000 an hour in my botany bay that's decoded data so yeah you can They've upped these mining nodes as well, which is clearly a good thing. <laughs> um, takes 12 minutes to get there. That's the only downside to these mines. Uh, and obviously you've got to take a ship there as well. So I'm going to move that ship there. I'm actually going to run down there now because I, I do need to get stuff anyway from this area. So this is really good. I mean, 117,000, that's going to fill my vessel up. And there you are, fills cargo, 19 seconds. <coughs> Bearing in mind, my cargo capacity is nearly 300k. So this is going to get mined pretty much instantly. Uh, yeah, so two seconds to mine that that much. 
um, 19 seconds to mine 3,700. I don't know if they're all the same. I don't know what they reset to. Uh, hopefully they reset to something higher because if they don't, then that would kind of be a little bit ridiculous. Uh, so yeah, see how fast this guy's mining it. It's gone. One, let's see what it resets to, if he resets it. It literally takes no time at all to, to reset, to, to do these nodes now. So what now he's, oh, he's just left it. Okay, is it not going to reset? Okay, it's just going to reset back to 3.7. So you're going to have to keep on top of it and just constantly keep an eye on it because it's constantly going to have to be reset, like, all the time. Um, so just bear that in mind. But it's a good addition to the game. Uh, so this is Yarda, for example. If you go to some of the, uh, the lesser ones, if you can't reach there, like one of the one, this one's a good one to go to if you can't reach quite reach Yarda, for example. Uh, you can come to this one, and you can still mine one hundred ninety three thousand an hour. It's obviously substantially less. It's like three, just under three, well, three point five times less, near enough. Um, but if you can't reach, that's still a great amount an hour. But the, their nodes seem to be a lot lower as well. So just bear that in mind. You're gonna to have to constantly keep resetting the uh, the vessel, um, which is kind of annoying. That that that's kind of annoying. I don't know why they've done it so low. Uh, it's probably so you can't sit on the mine all day, and to probably try and cause people to sort of start having conflicts with each other. And that's probably what the case is. But let's go down there anyway. Uh, see if we can get some data for well, not for now, but. I need to buy stuff anyway, so we'll do that. And uh, next time, well, once they finally the event comes out, I'll do another video on the event once it comes out, and um, we'll see see uh, everything involved. Um, but yeah, have a good day. Stay safe. Stay home, and I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.